here is that we've got a about a five gallon bucket and we will uh, vent that to the outside world and keep the temperature up enough that uh, if we keep it uh, warm enough it will actually go through aerobic digestion and we'll be able to uh, have a uh, waterless uh, indoor toilet. Here we have an example of how the ABS uh, drain waste vent uh, pipe section will uh, interface to the bucket. I was able to heat the end of the pipe just enough to get it soft uh, in the, uh, near, the, near the coals of the fire. Um, it's probably not a good idea to be doing this with PVC pipe, uh, but ABS uh, is what I had and I prefer to use. And it, uh, Once you get it warm enough, it uh, will form very nicely into a different shape than just perfectly round. Here's a view of one end of the pipe that will uh, actually stick inside the bucket. The idea here was to get the pipe uh, in so that it would uh, fit underneath the uh, rims in, in near the uh, top edge of the very top bucket. This is not the swiftest picture, but it does show the round rubber gasket that I made with just uh, round weather, weather stripping that will uh, seal the uh, rim edge of the, uh, the top section to the very top of the bottom bucket. The idea of the frame here is to make sure that body weight won't compress the gasket too much or put too much weight on the buckets. Um, it's not a big issue, but uh, one that I, I just wanted to uh, address properly uh, from a mechanical standpoint. The idea here is that the uh, top of the bucket is just slightly underneath, maybe by an eighth of an inch, underneath the edge of the frame so that the, uh, the top cover and the weather stripping gasket uh, will compress down around the rim and make for a good airtight seal. The idea here is to get a, uh, a tracing made of the inside perimeter of the seat and then cut, a, cut the hole out maybe about an inch larger so that uh, there's plenty of room for um, interface to the bucket but at the same time uh, enough surface area to accommodate the weather stripping. You can see the tracings here that will um, essentially define the uh, opening to be cut uh, for the seat. Um, and also note the uh, pipe vent hole in the uh, upper right corner there. 
Okay, once you figure out where the um, top of the bucket goes in terms of uh, landing on the bottom of the lid, then you can place some uh, pretty wide weather stripping uh, on that uh, trace and make sure that you've got a nice uh, interface so that you can seal off the top edge of the bucket to the bottom of the lid. And this uh, shows how I cut the corner off. I cut a 45 degree corner through the vent pipe hole so that I could take the lid off without having the lid uh, connected to the pipe at all times. And that way I could just slide it away. Now here's where a little bit of custom drill work is necessary to make sure that the bottom of the seat actually rests flush on top of the uh, top lid um, along with some weather stripping. In the conventional uh, toilet with a ceramic uh, bowl there is quite a bit of an air gap between the two and we want to keep that sealed off. So here's a typical muffin fan from a PC power supply. They're 12 volt units and this one draws about 150 milliamps at 12 volts, so um, this should uh, run just fine off of a very small solar panel or even off of a small gel cell battery. Um, it could run for a very, very long time in terms of a uh, single battery charge to make sure that um, there's plenty of uh, energy left for uh, running the fan day or night, independent of uh, charge. So here's a view of how I chose to interface the fan to the vent pipe stack. And this is just a two inch to three inch adapter or transition in ABS plastic. And two of these pieces will go together, but the fan would fit down in just a single one of them. So four notches cut in it um, allowed the fan to have a nice secure resting place and still let the wires um, have a way to get out. Here's what the two adapter sections back to back look like with the fan down inside one of them after I've wrapped them nice in electrical tape. Duct tape would also work very nice here. I chose not to glue any of them together uh, until I actually see that uh, things really actually work properly in terms of uh, the long haul, in terms of mechanics, and making sure that uh, all the venting works properly. So here's a shot of whole assembly all together, fully functional. As you can see, the fan is maybe about head to height, but uh, a good distance away so that the seat won't interfere, or the seat lid won't interfere with it. And it's uh, got an easy access for maintenance purposes. And simple hole just drilled through the wall and venting to the outside right now is uh, just part of the experiment. But ultimately, this might go through a roof jack in the ceiling or more uh, vent pipe out to a higher elevation out past the gutter.